Good morning. Welcome to Munson Made This. Uh, it's Sunday. I decided to film a little video today, um, mostly testing out a new camera, but I'm also going to be filming, today's a shoot day, so I'm going to be filming a barbecued pulled pork Yuba sandwich, and I need to go across town to an Asian market to get that Yuba. And so I decided to film it, vlog it, and take you along with me. Again, trying out this camera, and uh, just to do it, because I don't really vlog much, and it's something I'd like to get more into. So, I have made myself an espresso. I lost my water bottle, but I have this that I might take along. And then I have my coffee cup, which in case I decide to stop for coffee, somewhere along the way, I have that. Probably gonna be about a 20 minute drive. Traffic shouldn't be bad Sunday morning. Well, let's go. On the way to the market, I decided to make a bit of a detour to pick up a little surprise for Ben. I am at a place called Ronald's Donuts and it, I don't know if it's fully vegan. It may be fully vegan now, but it's a donut shop here in Vegas' Chinatown that has vegan donuts. And all the ones that I've had before are delicious. They have an Instagram page now, and it shows pictures of their maple bars with vegan bacon on top. So I'm actually really excited to get a couple for myself as well. But I'm just going to be surprising Ben with some donuts because he's going to be so nice and filming the video a little bit later. And it's only like two blocks away from the market I'm going to. So I'm going to go inside and get some donuts. I'll show you what I get. All right, just got back from the donut shop. They put everything in this bag. So I'll just show it to you later when we dig in. I got a maple bar, the one I was talking about with bacon on it. I got two cream filled or they're custard filled. Oh, and something that she called an apple burrito. It looks sort of like a taquito, but it's sweet. So I'll show these to you later, but let's continue on to the market, get some Yuba and then get home and start filming. All right, I'm outside the market here. This place is called SF Supermarket. If you know anything about Las Vegas, Chinatown, it's Spring Mountain Indicator. Uh, it's the best place I've found to find Yuba, although you can find it a lot of different places. You can find it frozen, dry. This is my favorite place to buy it, so that's why I'm here. noticed these before they're just a bunch of dry soy meat products there's beef I don't know what that one is soy slices there's looks like sort of chicken it's like you rehydrate them and then fry them these ones are kind of interesting the rings there's also these canned items they're gluten vegetarian meats looking at the ingredients they seem like they're vegan And I just also found that they have dried Yuba sheets, which I had been looking for for literal years. Uh, then I found the frozen ones here, but I might be interested in trying the dry ones, see how those work as well. To say that I am obsessed with this market would be a complete understatement. I, every time I go in here, I spend way too long just wandering the aisles. I went in here for Yuba and I ended up spending about $27 on random stuff, which I'll show you when I get home. I'm really excited about some of the things I didn't, like I said, I've been there so many times, three times, and I spend so much time in there and still I'm finding new things and I'm just obsessed and I could pretty much live out of that place. Mind's blown. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna go home and I'll show you what I got and then it's time to start getting ready for our shoot, which uh, 
is the original reason I needed that Yuba. I also need some vegan A, so I'll have to probably stop at a Sprouts to get that. I have made it back home. I ended up going way more places than I had intended. I went to the SF market, which is the Asian market where I bought the Yuba and a bunch of other stuff. I went to Sprouts to get some vegan A's, which I got. And then I also wanted some pickles for these barbecued pulled pork sandwiches. They didn't have any that I wanted. It was weird, they just didn't have like a hamburger dill chip at Sprouts. So I ended up having to go to the Albertsons, which is near. Uh, ended up picking up some spicy dill chips and then some hamburger dill chips just because I thought the spicy sounded good and maybe some spicy chips on a barbecue pulled pork sandwich would be amazing. Still have the donuts which are starting to leak through the bag a little bit but I'm not going to open those just yet until um, Ben's ready for them. So you'll have to wait for that reveal. Oh I also picked up some more protein powder at Sprouts. I was out and uh, I really like that protein powder plus sprouts when they uh, have things on sale you got to kind of swoop down and get them swoop down swoop in basically it was about ten dollars off today so I got that um, from the SF market I bought a couple of cool things uh, these were what do they call them twist chilies um, why am I spacing on the name right now I'll remember in just a moment but these are really good just quick like sauteed in a pan with some um, maybe some soy sauce some like chili oil I also found these they're I guess they're just the king oyster mushroom but they have like a smaller cap on them that I'm used to they looked really great they were like a dollar or something for this package of three so I'm excited to play with those I have a barbecue pulled mushroom thing on my channel already and so I might do something like that. I also found these smaller versions. They're mini king oyster mushrooms. I'm um, excited to just kind of play with those. Uh, some Thai green chilies. These are great for adding to uh, like Tom Kha soups. Uh, I ended up throwing them in everything when I have them. Uh, a lot of this stuff is in a, a bit of an excess of plastic. And I noticed in the store that a lot of stuff was just in a lot of plastic. And that's just kind of the way that it is with those stores. <laughs> I'm not in love with it, but they do have a lot of specialty ingredients that I can't get many other places. So I guess I kind of put that aside. Indian eggplant, which are really cute, small eggplants. And I thought these were kind of cool rice flakes. So they're kind of uh, little squares of rice noodle. So I thought that would be good to do like my drunken noodle recipe with those, just kind of a different texture look neat uh korean barbecue sauce this is like a spicy one this is really great i have their bulgogi also it's just a really delicious sauce to put on tofu to put on vegan meats which is one of the next thing i got these uh taiwanese beef slices it's a dry packet, but I think you just rehydrate them. There's a few different vegan Chinese restaurants in Las Vegas, and I'm sure that they use probably something similar to that. I'm excited to give that a try. And then, of course, the ingredient that I actually went there to buy, the Yuba. I got a couple of packs of these. And um, for the recipe, I'm probably only going to use a half of one, but Ben and I are both really obsessed with Yuba right now. So I'm happy to have extra, and I can probably do like a Korean barbecue Yuba thing. So what I have to do now is put this stuff away, start to get things set up. I need to clean up a little bit, do a little bit of shaving before we film, get ready. And uh, our goal is to film by noon. It's about 10 to 11 right now. So I'm just gonna get ready for that. And then it's time to make our video. And I'm not sure what I'll show you exactly of that. Maybe a slight little behind the scenes. Um, Cause I haven't really eaten today. I usually on shoot days don't eat until uh, I actually eat the thing that we're filming me cook. Also, I go to the gym most days. Sunday's my day off. So my time is a little bit... Usually this time I would be at the gym, then I'd come home, have my protein shake, go about my day. Um, new to this taking Sundays off and trying to get back on our shooting schedule, because we used to shoot every Sunday while I had a full-time job. And then since I haven't, it's just kind of been erratic which is why you probably noticed that I don't have videos every Monday like I once did 
So we're trying to get back on our Monday or uh, upload on Monday schedule, which means we shoot on Sunday, which means I'm not going to the gym on Sunday. All this being said that I haven't eaten yet today and uh, probably won't eat until I eat the barbecued pulled pork. Uh, Yuba. I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you a little bit later when we are ready to shoot. What are you doing, Tuffy? You playing with Odie's toy? I showered, shaved, probably a little irritated from the shaving. I uh, have the dishwasher going, so if it's obnoxious, there's a weird sound, that's what's happening. But while I was in the shower, I decided to try to hydrate some of the beef that I got. Let me show you what that looks like right now. Kind of interesting. It looks a lot like meat. I'm going to, I think it's done soaking, so I'm going to squeeze it all out and then put it in the fridge, save it, and uh, maybe do something with it a little bit later today. I'm not sure, but it's a trip. It looks just like beef, and I am pretty sure this is exactly what they use it the vegan Chinese restaurants here in town. So I'm really excited. Things are uh, about to get started. It's about 10 to 12, and I'm gonna start putting the things in the kitchen that need to be there for our shoot. Need to bring in the island from my hallway. Need to uh, bring in the lights, get things set up. Kind of prep a few things, have them out on the counter so that we can get going. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to set this up and do a little time lapse. You can see that going on. I'm standing here in a very familiar spot. This is where I normally am when I cook on my channel and everything is set up. We got lighting, got stuff ready to go on the stove. We got some stuff over here for that I'm gonna cut up. I got stuff down here ready to go for sort of the intro. So just everything's ready to go. It's another light over there. We can get the windows open so that we get mostly natural light, but then fill it in with the uh, umbrella lights. I guess they are. Pups are roaming around. Sometimes they're in and out of the room while we're filming, depending. Uh, pups aren't supposed to have onions, but anytime I cut up onions, the pups run in here. Of course, I don't give them any. When I shoot, I like to in my early videos, I chopped onions and did things like that. I, I feel like because I did that early on, I don't think anyone needs to see me chop onions. So um, things like onions I chop in advance. Um, I'm going to be making a slaw in this video. I haven't prepped that slaw other than just having the cabbage ready to be cut up. I think that's something that I haven't really done on this channel, so I don't mind kind of showing how I cut that up, especially because I have a sort of a specific way that I want it done. I want it pretty thin. But a lot of things I just kind of set up ahead of time so that it's easier to film and just makes me less clumsy on camera. Uh, speaking of clumsy, uh, I think that's all. So as soon as Ben gets in here, we'll start filming. Maybe I'll even set up a little time lapse to uh, film while we're in here. Usually takes us about maybe two hours today the final video of this will probably be about 15 minutes. I don't imagine it taking us more than two hours to actually film this, but who knows, we'll see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. just finished shooting. Uh, I had a time lapse going the whole time, so you probably saw everything that happened in the kitchen in high speed. It is time for me to shoot months and ate this, which is where I eat the food that I make in the video. Uh, it's my way of trying to, um, you know, make a little bit more money to support this channel by having a Patreon. So subscribe to that Patreon if you have not yet already. There's a link below this video, and I have probably at least 10 months and ate this videos now. It's 
a lot of fun. I think it's just, you know, me being more me and stuffing my face with delicious food. Munson ate this is done. I'm absolutely stuffed. I had, I think in total about three of those sandwiches. Uh, I still at some point need to uh, shoot this. This is the uh, pretty one. I still need to do the glamour shot of that. But for right now, I think I'm going to just kind of relax. The uh, kitchen needs to be straightened up. I need to make another batch of the Yuba for Ben because I ate it all. But I think I'm gonna just take a load off. Oh, let me show you the donuts because uh, at some point we might decide to dig in. Actually, you know what? I am a little bit full, but I think I deserve a donut dessert. Let me show you those because I had mentioned earlier that I was going to show them to you. So chocolate cream filled or custard filled, I think regular custard filled. This is the maple bar with the vegan bacon on top. And then this one, which is really interesting, I said it's like a taquito. It's the apple pie burrito. I forgot what they called it, but it looks like it's, I don't know if it's just a tortilla, but it's wrapped, dipped in glaze, covered in chopped nuts. It looks incredible. Which one should I try? I'm kind of interested in the apple one. Let me cut a piece of that off and uh, give it a taste. I don't necessarily love apple things. Sort of looks like a fast food apple pie. It's really good. Tastes like an apple pie. Good cinnamon flavor. That glaze really helps. Perfect little dessert, just a little sweet before I relax for a bit and finish my work. Oh, I still have to write recipes. Do things for the website. Still a lot of steps left. I decided to turn this into just a behind the scenes video. So there's still a lot to do. Uh, it's now about 7.30 at night, and uh, I ended up taking a little nap after I filmed the last clip. And uh, I actually have to go downtown and meet a friend tonight, and I know there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to get done, but I just really didn't. But that's okay. So it was tomorrow. So I need to clean up the kitchen, because I definitely want to get that done, because it's still got food residue on everything. Um, but I'm in a good place, so ready for tomorrow. I'm going to get up, go to the gym, and then um, hopefully there's some time tomorrow to um, work on the recipe aspect of it, edit photos. Ben will work on the editing of the video. If the lighting seems weird, it's because we still have the lights in here in the kitchen, and I just turned one on because the overhead lights aren't great. So I'll probably see you all tomorrow and uh, continue the behind the scenes of this recipe video. Well, hello. It is the next day. I'm in my office. It is six o'clock at night and I've actually just made myself some espresso because uh, I'm about to start editing the photos for the um, thumbnail for the video and I need to write the recipe, get the recipe posted, Onto my website, I need to get the stuff typed out, which is gonna go below the video on YouTube. Edit the photo that's going to go on the website, edit the photo that's gonna be going on Instagram, which is pretty much the same thing. Write the text that's gonna go below Instagram. I think if I'm missing anything. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing on the computer. The uh, lights, I'm standing in front of an open window in order to get the light. So I'm not sure what the lighting is going to be like. This camera doesn't seem, I, I actually just looked at the footage from this camera uh, from the previous day stuff and I'm not in love with the quality of it. So I'm not sure how it's going to do in the low light. But I'll show you what I can of this process, but now it's the point where it's all just in front of the computer work, which I truly don't mind. Our goal is to have the video uploaded. I want to have everything uploaded tonight so that I can schedule it to drop in the morning because I have to be at the gym by 8 o'clock tomorrow so that I can go do things tomorrow. And uh, 
it's just time to get stuff done. So I'm gonna work on that and I'll show you what I can. So what's happened is Ben has taken the footage from yesterday off of the camera, put it on his computer, and he has sent me a few different screenshots from that video, from the part of the video where we were setting up for thumbnails. Basically, we got to a point in the, in the shoe where we said, all right, we need to take some video for thumbnails, uh, kind of hold the food, make some faces, and then we can screenshot it out of the actual video and use that for the thumbnail. So he went through, took a couple of the pictures out, and now I'm going to look and see, He, I think he took out about like 20, or took about 20 shots. So I'm going to go through those, see which ones I like, and then uh, pump them up a little bit in Lightroom, and then bring them into Photoshop and turn them into the actual thumbnail. I just finished the thumbnail for the video. I originally was gonna do something that had my face, me holding the plate. I just didn't love any of those images and I didn't really like the composition with me holding the plate in reference to the food. Um, and one of the screenshots that Ben took was actually a really great picture of the food so I decided to just go with that. <coughs> I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's nice composition the way that it is, the text. So I'm pretty happy with it. I just need now to get an image that I'm gonna use as my Instagram post that I will also use as the website image. And then uh, I'll type up the recipe and get that all ready to go for the website. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna film that step. Um, we're losing light rapidly. But I, I definitely wanna show you guys this whole process of the uh, kind of behind the scenes. Originally I intended just to kind of film a shopping trip and it's turned into a lot more, but I think it's kind of cool to show you what all goes into one of our videos. And I really like the time lapse of <laughs> behind the scenes filming. Um, I just plugged in my phone to my computer because for some reason I just felt like taking pictures with my phone. Um, sometimes after a shoot, I'm just exhausted. Um, two to three hours of filming and cooking and then doing the months and ate this and you know, you eat a bunch of food, you're kind of tired, you've been working. By that point, it's the afternoon. And uh, it doesn't always seem like the best time to start a photo shoot. Worst case scenario, I don't love any of the pictures that I took with my phone. And I ended up making another batch of the Yuba pulled pork today for Ben. And uh, if I don't love any of the images, I do have enough of the ingredients to make another one and I could theoretically make another one tomorrow and reshoot it if I had to. But I'm really going to try to make what I took photos of work. Um, I have some of like me holding it versus it just sitting down and I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to edit that now, look through, find something that works, and then move on to the website. Good morning, it's just about nine o'clock on Tuesday. And uh, we're just about an hour away from the actual upload. Uh, yesterday I edited photos, created the thumbnail, got everything ready, started typing up the recipe and doing all that and just kind of was over it. So I said, you know what, I'll just get up extra early the next morning, tomorrow morning, which is today, and just finish it up in the morning. And um, yeah, so I have about an hour I mean, I can give myself a little bit more time if I want, but have about an hour to get stuff done. And since I've finished my office, I'm really happy with it. I enjoy working in there, but some days like today, I feel like I'm gonna be distracted. If I stay at home, just looking around, finding things that I need to do or... So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and just finish up the final typing, uploading stuff to the website. Um, I can do it all in my Chromebook. I don't need anything special. I just have a really cheap like $200 Chromebook. So I'm just going to take that to Starbucks, finish typing, putting stuff on the website, and then it should be ready to go. Uh, a little while ago, I uploaded the video to YouTube. It's sort of set to premiere in an hour. That's why I say I have about an hour. Um, because it's on Ben's computer, so I have to go into his office, upload it from his computer to YouTube, and then I can publish it whenever. That's what's going on. 
Um, I'm not sure what I'll show you with Starbucks. See how confident I feel taking a camera in there. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're, we're getting down to it. We're getting close to the upload. I didn't even think about the fact that Starbucks uh, plays music, so I don't want to really talk too much in here because of the um, copyright. So I'll just put the camera on the table here and show you what I'm working on. Well, I'm actually heading back home and uh, I didn't get anything done. I didn't show you really what I did in there just because, again, of the music and it's just sort of awkward. But I made a mistake uploading a video under the wrong... I got my months and ate this video and the upload of the recipe video confused and the titles mixed up and the thumbnail. So I've got to go home and fix it on my computer. Uh, so I had to push back the upload time, uh, give myself 30 more minutes to get this done. So I'm on my way back home, which luckily isn't that far away, to fix the mistake that I made. <sighs> Basically what I need to do is just fix the thumbnail on the, in, on the video Let's actually itemize this. Correct the thumbnail on the video. Relink the real months and this video to the Patreon account. Uh, finish uploading the recipe to the website. Link the website into the information section below the YouTube video. Oh, I forgot I still have to do Instagram stuff. All right, I need to put this camera down and get to work. Videos up, all the information is below the video. The recipe's on the website. The website is linked in the uh, information below the video. The last thing I need to do is do a post to Instagram. And uh, what I like to do with that is I actually compose it on my computer. I use um, Keep, which is a Google, it's one of the Google apps, it's called Keep. And the cool thing about it is, is I can, keep a file here. Let me show you what that looks like. So I can put a file or a, I can type something up here and I can compose it on my computer. And then I have the app version of this on my phone. I mean, I guess I could use Google Docs or other word processing type of things, but I think keep is really easy because I can just make the note in here, bring it up on my phone, copy and paste it into the Instagram. Um, my brain's fried. <laughs> into the Instagram post. Also, with the images, um, I edit all the photos on my computer using Photoshop, and then I will put them into Dropbox, and then I can bring up Dropbox on my phone, and then I'm able to upload the post from Dropbox, copy and paste the text from Keep, and then I have my Instagram post. And then I'll probably repost that post as a story, so I do double duty there. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm supposed to be going to the gym here in about 20 minutes. I was cutting it a little bit close, but I've done it. Um, other things that I probably should be doing are posting um, links to this on Pinterest. I've posted to Reddit before, but Reddit attracts an interesting crowd. So I don't always post it to Reddit. Um, usually I just rely on Instagram and YouTube to drive the views for the video. 24 hours are the most important part for the video. So trying to get the most views within that first 24 hours, because um, usually it I'll never get more views after that first 20 hour, 24 hours than I did during that first 24 hours. Even though a video can like go viral and take on a life of its own, like the oat milk video or my original air fryer video, those didn't do so well in the beginning, but then gradually they just grew. But most of the time, a bulk of the views comes within that first 24 hours, so it's ideal to optimize the views during that time. So I'm going to post to Instagram, get that all set, and then I'm pretty much done. So I'm just going to say goodbye here. Um, I had originally just planned on showing myself going to the grocery store to buy the Yuba, but then I decided to just make it a behind the scenes video. Uh, I hope it was informative. I hope you kind of got a glimpse of what it's like to 
create a YouTube cooking video and to upload it and all the things that goes into it. I probably should have shown you Ben editing it, but he does that in the middle of the night. Normally, um, after I go to bed, he is up all night editing the video. He just works better in the middle of the night, so I try to let him have his... I get a little frustrated sometimes wanting things to be done in my own time, but uh, if he's going to do it, I'm grateful for it. And if he needs to do it in the middle of the night after I've gone to bed, I'm okay with that. So maybe um, if you're interested in seeing more of these behind the scene videos, maybe we can do a video showing you how Ben actually edits the videos. That might be kind of cool, something that you're interested in. Otherwise, this is it. I go to the store, I get the stuff. Um, I probably should have, could have showed you a few more details. If, if you want more in depth um, about the actual process, then definitely comment and let me know. But other than that, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Watch the barbecued pulled pork YouTube video. It's up when you see this because obviously I uploaded it while I was filming this. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, give any comments below if you have any suggestions on other content that's similar to this. So thank you and I will see you next time.